When it comes to safeguarding your DynamoDB tables on AWS, there is no better tool than Veeam Backup for AWS. Hi, I'm Julia with Veeam, and today we're going to guide you through the process of creating a DynamoDB backup policy, demonstrating its simplicity and effectiveness. Let's begin. Start by opening your Veeam Backup for AWS console. So right-click on the Backup Appliance and click Open Console. Then go to Policies and go to the DynamoDB tab. To create a policy, click Add and then give it a name and a description if you want. Then you need to specify an IAM row that has the necessary permissions to perform the backup job in the account that you want. So I have already created a DynamoDB row and I'll select it. Next, you have to choose the region where you want to protect your DynamoDB tables. I'll pick North Virginia. You can select more than one. Finally, here you have to specify the resources that you want to protect. You can select all resources or select only a few by the table name or by tag. So click here and we'll select our DynamoDB table. click Protect, and then click Apply. You can also choose to exclude certain resources. Now click Next. Here you have to choose the backup vault where you'll be storing your backups. You have to have created your backup vault in your AWS console before. I have already done this and we'll go ahead and configure our backup vault here. So I have a Vim vault. I'll select it and click Save, and then click Apply. Here you can enable replication, so create additional backup copies in other, another vault or another region. And you can also select to archive in cold storage for cost optimization. Just remember that it's recommended to store the backup in cold storage for a minimum of 90 days. Now you have to specify the backup schedule. Let me show you how this works with the daily schedule. Let's say I choose to perform a backup at 5 a.m. and another one at 5 p.m. And you can also set up the daily retention, so for how long you want to keep the backup for. So you can be very granular and you can do the same with weekly, monthly and yearly schedule. Here you can specify tags. So copy tags from other source tables or add custom tags. Then you have the general settings. So how many times you want to automatically try a failed policy. And if you had email notifications enabled, you could enable them here as well. Next, this is one of the most unique features from our Vim Backup for AWS, which gives us an estimated monthly cost of our backup policy. In total, it's going to cost us around 60 cents because it's the cost for the backups. We're not doing any replication, so it's zero and um, there is no traffic between regions, so it's zero as well. Finally, you get a summary of your configured settings. You can test the configuration to see if everything's working. And if everything looks good to you, you can go ahead and click Finish. And there you have it. Our DynamoDB backup policy is now configured in Veeam Backup for AWS, ensuring robust protection for your Amazon DynamoDB tables. With these advanced features, your DynamoDB data remains secure and accessible in the cloud. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos, where we'll explore additional strategies for safeguarding various cloud environments and workloads. Questions or feedback, share them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with our latest content releases. Thanks for watching.